Good afternoon. This is Hammersmith Bridge. I'm sure you're used to me walking up to it from the other side, like every 10 minutes or so. Um, the tide is going out so fast, you can actually see a standing wave setting up there. Anyway, I'm going to go this way, which is further in towards London. This is a bit of the towpath I've never done, so I fancied something to do on a Saturday afternoon whilst Crystal is in Richmond. It's wet, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. Welcome to another episode of Tropey Stupid Vlog. So this is called Harrods Village. Uh, the reason being is this amazing old building is actually furniture depository, or at least it was, I'm pretty sure. It looks like it's been converted into flats. I would be amazed if it hadn't. Such an amazing location. You're right on the river. You have to look at all these new builds on the other side, but still, very nice. Nice little spot. Now this bit next to it, does look very much like a warehouse, but um, there's no guarantee that that's actually true. <laughs> it's just the green windows that look quite small. There's something odd on the roof. I presume this is how they used to get here, so the um, boats would pull up and they would deposit furniture and what have you in the warehouse and take it down to uh, Knightsbridge to the store. Uh, there's lots of there's an un underground car park with lots of expensive looking vehicles in so I very much doubt there's much in the way of Harrods furniture there that's in being deposited that said there's probably plenty of Harrods furniture that's been bought probably get a discount or something very nice long here at some point I hopefully will have walked the entire length of the towpath from central London Westminster way all the way round to Kingston which is what I want to do Come on, pigeon. Walk it off, fatty. There we go. This is Putney. We made it down here now. It's not very far, to be honest. This is where all the boats launch. All along here. As you can see, that's Putney Bridge. And these are the boat houses of various colleges and clubs. That's a smashed up Mercedes. And he's not going to get through a door like that. This is a bit further along. This is a uh, this is Wandsworth Park. I always knew there was a park in Wandsworth. It's not the biggest park, but I'd never actually seen it before. So there we go, another first. <laughs> it's bloody cold now, though, to be honest. And I really should have worn that Ghostbusters hoodie. Never mind. So that way you're looking towards Battersea, I suppose, next, really. Um, and those are the two bridges in Putney. And that is a sinking barge. We have um, zombie ducks and zombie ducklings. <laughs> We're visiting Alexander's new abode. Just there with the flowers. Number 36. There they are. So the lounge we're gonna so the ground plan is to is to open out this eventually, but the lounge we won't touch, so the lounge will stay as it is. Okay. Because um, we like it kind of Nice and cozy. This is the dining. Look at this wallpaper. Just take a look at this amazing wallpaper. It's actually got flies on it. If you can find a fly. Yeah, that's nice. It's quite It's yeah. It doesn't feel like an all time of year wallpaper. More sort of seasonal. Yeah. Is that your secret cupboard under the stairs? Yes, we've got a little pantry in there, which eventually will become the downstairs loo, possibly. He thinks that. He has no idea. Well, it depends where the, where the water runs in the house, doesn't it, as to whether that's feasible. But it's a good location. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the kitchen. Nice shade of green. So it used to be, it was... Um, <laughs> 
But it was even more amazing. It so was it, more amazing because... Used, go on, explain it, honey. It used to have quite bobbly yellow wallpaper Everywhere. with a green ceiling. So we stripped off, or Anna and her mum stripped off the wallpaper and behind it was more of this green. So we're going to go to all the green. Yeah. It's a bit dark. Yeah. It's very dark. So there were brackets and oh. shelves covered yeah, so in all the windows. Shelves, like shelves like across the window. You can't see out because of all these shelves. Shelf. That's a bit nuts. It's pretty crazy. It's Downstairs. Oh, I like the feet. It's a nice, it's a nice set. Yeah. But this had, this had weird wallpaper on with like pictures of Leonardo da Vinci or something. There you go, you can see a bit. Kind of like weird. <laughs> it looks like hand sketches. Sort of early like, time. Not, I was going to say, did they leave or did they? To make it a mixed case for their terrible taste. Um, and behind that wallpaper was again dark green. Yeah, so, so we so yeah. like Are you going to change the tiling or are you going to leave the green? I should probably leave it. Quite, as long as the cheap, rest of it's, it's light fine. enough, yeah. it's going to be fine, won't it? So it's eventually we'd like coats. to move this upstairs. Well, that's a lot of stripping going yeah. on. So oh, my was... muscles have grey. I, I have one really small arm muscle now. So you're going to have to... So this, was, this was a fitted cupboard here as well, but there's no carpet. Yeah. yeah really horrible fitted really, cupboard. Cheap, really badly done, and it kind of cut across there. So it's like a big hole here. And the wallpaper behind that's was point, really It's a nice shape, that. Yeah, so. it's nice to keep the shape of the room. And it was you're going to have to do some cupboard. pretty impressive re rendering. Yeah. yeah. And then there was a cupboard, a fitted cupboard there. Blocking off the light. Blocking the window. Blocking the whole window. Well, that's insane. <laughs> With a different coloured carpet. I can see why they, they, it looks like the shape of a cupboard, but you, why didn't you just, yeah, that's nutty to get rid of. It's lovely to have double light in a room. Yeah. We might just put shelves in. And a chest of drawers. Or a chest of drawers. Yeah. Right. Talk to you. Yeah. What do you think of the site for that I'm sleeping in? So this obviously is where we, this is going to be the guest bedroom. Yeah. The wallpaper looks like it's nice wood panelling, but it's actually soft. It's, wall, it's soft wallpaper. Ooh, that's weird. It's weird. We like the colour though, and we quite like the. So we might yeah. leave it. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, this, this might is be what the, it was like when you. How deep are, are those cupboards? Yeah, this is probably the yeah. nicest. I know. Yeah. Apart from red floor with it, um, which is ridiculous. It's, um, <laughs> Yeah, and this is actually, these are quite nice. Yeah, these are nicely fitted. This is where so she slept in here and he slept in that room. We heard it from the neighbours. So, this was her room. And, and this, this, must, nice. this must be so only she room she didn't like green. smoke in. <laughs> no, maybe he loved green. And then, and then have another bedroom off the back. Mm. Yeah. That would be the idea. Over the, the the idea wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. over the kitchen. Yeah, over the kitchen, yeah. Yeah, And we, we can go push out a bit further. Yeah, and we might... And is that actually, fake wood panelling? No. Is that real wood panelling? This one's actually real, it's quite... That's just pine, I think. Okay. But it's a bit odd. I think it's fair, unless it's plastic. Right, last part outside. I mean, it's this substantially is made this thing. Yeah, I mean, this is the lean to. Yeah. It's got a wall. Well, and this doesn't have a wall. So one of the, the problem is this is a shared wall. Yeah. We don't have ownership of that wall. Yeah, they So. <laughs> Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? It's south facing. It's really so the plan, the plan would be to extend out about four, maybe to about here. Yeah, you know, extend out as much as you can because you're, yeah. you've got such we a long garden. Well, this isn't garden, really. This isn't garden, no. Which is about where they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's absolutely. level with almost everyone else. Yeah. And then we'd have terrace yes. up to about yes. here. Yes, yes. Oh, it'd be lovely. And then, yes. And it's looking at, you know, this... this yeah, the idea of that bit jumping out of that—they've yeah. got one, haven't they? Just the same. They could be. So I think they must have been. Look at those sparrows. They're all in this tree here. There's the awesome shed. This is a really awesome shed, actually. Look at the size of mouse. You could get rid of that if you, it's yeah, a storage. It's brilliant, but... actually. Listen to them. Oh. Yeah, I mean they've got a lot of storage. You might not need that much. You could lose maybe well, bits of that if you wanted not more garden. All the storage they've got. That's a nice bench, although not actually usable. Bird box, bird feeder. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah, and then you've got the nice bit at the end. It's a nice greenhouse. Isn't this absolutely gorgeous? Oh, it's don't you dare sell it.
That looks like there was a gap in that hedge at one point. And then you've got another shed. <laughs> I'm not convinced you need two sheds. Well, I don't think we will. No. Ted, this is going to have chickens on it. Oh, no. Chickens and the veggie box. Did you have it? Well, you could put the chickens in oh, a yeah, shed, they'd be safer. Ah, are you going to have any grass? Yes, we are. So the weather has finally improved. There's blue bits and the sun's out. And we're just going to walk along the side of Hampton Court. This is the that is Hampton Court Palace, it's in there somewhere. Probably can't see it because we're quite a way down. <laughs> no, Are you not applying the protective layer to the <laughs> to the microphone? That's disappointing. I think we'll just end it there. <laughs> this is what the role of a breakfast producer actually actually does nowadays. An average breakfast producer, anyway. You have to apply prophylactics to microphones. Oh my god, are you using it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough putting condoms on things. Here is Leicester Square. Remember, open April 2012. They've actually taken that sign down. And the reason might be because today is May the 8th. Now, tell me how close you think this is to being finished. I don't, at least a week, that's my guess. Maybe more. Oh well, they tried. And they failed. Hello. Look, it's half six in the evening and I'm wearing a t-shirt. Amazing. Yeah, I mean, tomorrow will be horrible, but today it's 18 degrees, which is awesome. So I'm just off to m &S to buy some cream to make some Swedish IKEA meatballs. Genuine, genuinely IKEA and maybe Swedish, made in China. So there we go. Just thought I'd give you an update on my very interesting day. Nick yeah. wants the first slice because he's been waiting very yeah, patiently. He's he only stole the top nice start that was there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he Jack sorted it. Matt is, uh, I'm going to say, 21. 17 today. <laughs> 23 today. Is that what you are? Yeah. Oh, you can card. talk, <laughs> Carlin. I thought I was the baby round here. Fuck the card, cut the cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, big show wants his cake. Yeah. So, uh, but Nick kept one of the stars. So I know. Sorry about did. that. Well, 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 Fucking like, oh, animal. fucking animal. Right, I guess we try. Thanks, guys. Right. That's very kind. You're welcome. Oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> now you see there is irony in my voice, yes. He's come to check out a leak which um, downstairs seem to be having, which I'm really hoping doesn't come from up here. Because let's be honest, if it does, that is not going to be cheap. So, uh, we're going to look at that. Um, oh, there is some good news today, and I'm not sure I've captured it yet, which is finally, someone has guessed one of the correct answers on Who's on Heart. Yes. So, um, we're very, very happy about that, so that could... Um, that's a stepping stone, and who knows when the other two may go, but um, hopefully it won't be years, um, maybe months. So that's a promising start. So today's looking up, so far. I'll update you later. Time for a bathroom update. So there was a problem, unfortunately. It wasn't a simple fix. Um, welcome to the Echoey bathroom. The problem was that the um, junction to the tap was leaking. Um, not as we thought, just um, a little hole in the showery thing. So what's happened is the whole thing's had to come off, um, which has been quite a job. We had to take the panelling off and break that. We had to pull the bath. I say we. I'm done a lot. Um, and yes, yeah, so the taps that fix them to the underside of this are going to be replaced. That's what he's going away to go and get the right fittings at the moment. And then the whole caboodle has to put back on. Found the stopcock which is good.
because I had no idea what that was. So, yeah, it's a work in progress. This is how I'm spending my Thursday morning. Um, it's different. Let's put it that way. And, and expensive. Highly expensive. Brilliant. So there we go. A fascinating bathroom update from me. And now hopefully we'll cut to something much more interesting. Here we are with Nick Snaith, ready for another billion dollar update. Yeah, it's been two weeks since the last billion dollar update and I can tell you that we have moved forward a little bit. We haven't raised any more money, we've still got that pound that Toby uh, gave us a few weeks ago that's now worth one pound. One dollar sixty two in today's prices. Yeah, yeah, you know, so that was a shrewd move on our, on our part to invest that in the dollar. Um, so it's, you know... We should have bought, no, we shouldn't have bought euros, they're weakening. Never mind, carry on. Yeah, yeah, anyway, uh, it's about the big plan and I've got an idea. Of, uh, of something to invent. I've, got, I've, been, I've, I've, I've thought of something. Um, I can't say too much yet because I'm patented it, but I'm going to. Um, all I can say is that every household in the country or the world could have one of these. Um, most people have got something that you would need for this or produce this thing for. Um, it's a good tease. Yeah, I can't tell you any more than that other than. I will reveal in the next few weeks what it is. Um, it will make us a billion dollars in five hundred and something days. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Thanks very much. Good update. Daniel Benningfield's next and more who's on half for 60 pounds. So here's some more studio updates. This is where we're up to. This looks very much like 4B did last week. Kind of, yeah, boards and wires. That's a hole in the wall. And that's a lot of wires. And if you look through here, it's basically filled with tools. The bench is still there, but um, hasn't moved on a lot. It's mostly wiring we're doing at the moment. And in here, we it's still old and rubbish and filled with Neil Bentley. Oh, hi! See? Rubbish. See where we are? Dinosaur Crazy Golf. Silhouetted against the backdrop there. See, technically we're not going to Dinosaur Crazy Golf. We're going to Goals. Crystal's dad's birthday, which is just up here. This is where I'm currently going walking down a road. There is no pedestrian access. I'm not saying that's a bad idea, I'm just saying it's not a great idea. Anyway, there's enough free advertising for goals I think for the time being. Incidentally, there's a driving range here. You see, yes, this here. Um, I just came from over the other side of the main road, which is a massive busy road. On the other side there's a housing estate. In that housing estate, are balls from this driving range. So all I can say is somebody over there is really impressive shot. Please. Oh, after, after the photos. <laughs> <laughs>